Hey, welcome to my second channel. I'm John, and my main channel is Creek Fishing Adventures. So I go out fishing creeks a lot, and I put a lot of thought into fishing creeks. This afternoon, I was just messing around, and it just came across me that I need to maybe explain how you can go out and catch more fish. How is it that I go out? I go out a lot. I go catch a lot of fish. And when I'm talking about creek fishing, I'm basically talking about going out to a small creek just to catch anything I can catch. I want to go out there. I'm probably using lures. You can use worms or something like that, but I'm gonna, I'm using lures, using a um, you know rod and reel setup, and I want to go out there and just uh, catch more fish and just be more efficient. And you know how can I definitely catch more fish? Well, I got five ways that will guarantee you will catch more fish. Um, got some little sub points on each one. So five ways that you're gonna catch more fish creek fishing. First one, very basic, is your approach. When you walk up to a creek, what? how is your approach? Do you walk straight up to the bank and start casting or do you creep up to it? So when you come up to a creek, don't just rush up to it, run up to it and think, I already know what I'm gonna cast. Walk slowly, take your time, walk up to it looking, wear uh, polarized glasses. The ones I use are ones from Walmart, they're like $13. Um, I don't have any more expensive ones than that right now. I mean, I will probably in the future, but. That, that's worked for me for years and I can see uh, lots of fish. So I walk up to a creek first when I first get there, first start, stand back 15, 20 feet and work your way up the bank. If there's trees in the way, you kind of sneak in around the trees. Um, look upstream just a little bit. Look in the water, look upstream. Uh, especially, of course, a lot of streams I fish are clear water. You know, if it's muddy water, the fish can still see you, but you just can't look into it as much. But you can still look, look in the stream. Well, how is the river laid out? Where is there logs at? Do you see anything moving around? When you make your first cast, stand back, make a cast in, see what moves. A lot of times I'll, I'll be 10, 15 feet off the bank, cast in, see a fish come off the bank that I'm standing on, but he doesn't know I'm there yet. So I've cast in, he comes off the bank, hits the lure. If I'd have walked over the bank, I'd spook that fish. So fish are gonna be usually holding tight to banks. They're out in the middle also. so. Make cast, work up, make another cast, work your way up, make another cast. Um, so that's that's a real easy things to do. Be observant, be quiet, and kind of sneak up to the bank to make your first cast and be watching and see what happens. Now number two is something that when I take other people fishing with me, it really aggravates me because I know why they're not catching as many fish because they can't cast as well as I can cast. Because I do it all the time. And people are like, how do you get so good at casting? It was like, well, if you whatever you do, if you do it every day pretty much, you're gonna get good at it. Learn how to cast, avoid trees, make those casts right, you know, this far off of a log or this far off the bank. This far from this far, like that makes three, four inches can make a difference whether you catch, you know, uh, 10 fish that day or 30 fish that day. Um, if, you're, if you're just casting out there, not, you know, a foot away from where the fish is, he might not come out and get it. You might have to get it on his head or two inches. Those fish that hold tight to cover, especially in creeks, I say this a lot, because um, they get they get used to people fishing for them or they just don't want to come out. But you throw it on their head, they'll come out and get it. And you're like, I didn't even know there was a fish there. But it took me five casts to get that cast where I want it, and then I caught that fish. So practice, practice, practice. Um, find rods that are, you know, I think a little bit better quality rods, help you cast easier, get really comfortable with it. Uh, find a rod that fits what you're fishing for. Maybe if you're using a seven foot rod in a bunch of trees, that's a, I can't catch that thing very good. I go down to a six, maybe a six and a half if I got open areas. If I'm fishing a really tight, small creek, I'm using a six foot rod, um, you know, to make these casts. And like I said, I'm talking like multi-species, more of fishing for small bass, bluegill, anything that bites. If I was talking about bass fishing, um, that's that's really another subject. It's a lot of these things apply, but it's a little bit different when I'm fishing bass fishing. No, nah, not much different, but it is a little bit different than this. I'm just talking about going out and trying to catch anything I can catch, throwing a smaller lure. Point number three, be different. What are you doing that's different than everybody else fishing? So a lot of these, a lot of these creeks, people do go to these creeks and you know, they go and fish them and they catch fish. What are you doing to put yourself apart that you're not making the same cast where that fish has gotten used to it or you're, you're not doing the same thing? Well, my buddy, you know, this person goes over here, he hardly catches fish. I go over here, I hardly catch fish. This is how I'm different. I try to walk away from where everybody else fishes. Find those least pressured fish 
Uh, find a hole that has more fish in it. Move around. Walk, walk, walk. I, I like to, I take one fishing pole, you know, one sling bag, you know, a few different lures where I can just go out and move. I wear wading shoes if I'm wearing wading. If it's cold, wear some muck boots or put on waders. Do something different that everybody else isn't doing. Don't go to the, all the worn out spots where everybody casts from because those are pretty obvious. You can catch fish there, but you're not going to catch as many fish as if you go somewhere where nobody's casting. Maybe you get in the water and you walk upstream a uh, hundred yards to get to a spot that you can't make a cast off the bank that's all overgrown. Or um, you get in somewhere and go find another place that nobody else is fishing. Do something different that everybody else isn't doing. And with that, you make good casts, and you're walking up and you're approaching, you're gonna catch more fish. You're definitely gonna have better success. Point four, downsize. Um, it's pretty common to catch more fish, a smaller lure catches more fish, because there's lots of smaller fish than there is bigger. If you're bass fishing this thing, it's a little bit different because you're, you're trying to draw out the biggest fish. You're not really going after just every fish. If you're just creek fishing for whatever you can catch, downsize your rod reel line and lures get really lightweight lures you can go down to like if you if you're used to using a three inch lure and you're like i only catch a fish every once in a while if you're used to using three inch lures go to a two inch go to one inch go to a half inch go to lighter jig heads if you're like i always use a 1 16th ounce go down to 1 32nd ounce go down to 1 64th 1 80th of an ounce now, if you're doing that, you gotta you gotta uh, factor in your line. I'm used to using eight pound line. Well, eight pound line can't throw a one thirty second ounce shig head very far. It can't throw one sixty fourth at all, pretty much. So you're like, you know what? I want to get better casting, but I want to throw a little lure. So I gotta compensate. I'm gonna get four pound line, two pound line. Go to some small six pound braid. I've covered this in some other videos where uh, talking about what line and uh, braid and reels I'm using. So factor everything in downsize and get littler lures that are easy for fish to get in their mouth you can still catch really good fish as far as like if you're trying to catch big bluegill or big panfish they like a tiny little lure um the bass in these creeks will eat most time anything that comes in front of their face uh, and maybe you're catching crappie or bluegill but the, a smaller little lure a tiny little trout magnet size lure a one inch swim bait style lure you're going to catch a bunch of fish but you gotta match it with your um, line. I like throw it on four pound line, throw one sixty fourth ounce jig head, and sling it out there with a six foot rod, a six foot ultralight rod. Put it out there, and your fish catches will go way up because you can you can actually target these little fish that are, you know, four or five inches, a blast to catch. But you were throwing something that only ten inch fish could eat. Now you're throwing something to, down to four, for a four or five inch fish. Now you've tripled the amount of fish you can catch pretty much that are in there. Because usually that's a pretty common size of fish that's in there. So you're struggling, you can't catch fish, downsizing and getting a little bit smaller lure, getting smaller profiles, smaller line, that makes a big difference and you'll see your fish catches go way up. Last one that kind of already covered is just keep moving. Don't have a spot that, that that's your only spot you fish. Um, move around, just walk the bank, make casts while you're walking. I cast and I reel while I'm walking, cast and reel while I'm walking. Find a hole, they're like, okay, well make a, bu make a bunch of casts in this area. If I ain't got nothing pretty quick, or I haven't seen a bite, or I haven't seen any fish, because I'm really watching, then I'm moving on, make another area. Oh, here's some moving water. Oh, there's actually a little area here where all the fish are bunched up. Keep moving, keep finding, keep casting new spots, and you, you might learn a lot more about the creek that you're fishing, or about where the fish are, or how they hold up, um, maybe there's just come across some fish that haven't got cast before. Um, try to try to get out there, keep moving. All right, this is definitely things all I things I think about when I go to creeks. I want to go further away from everybody I can. And if you really want to do this, get a kayak. Kayaks are so much fun as far as where you can go, how far you can go, how you can get away from everybody else. So that's why I love, I really love kayaking so much. And even if you still want to paint fish or just use the same small lures, catch anything, kayaking really uh, opens up so many doors and places for you to go. And I hope that helped out for today because uh, that just kind of popped into my head that I wanted to cover it while I was fresh on my mind. And that's the kind of things I want to do on this channel, try to put out some helpful information for people like me that just want to go out there and catch fish. I wish uh, a lot of this stuff I had to learn and I tried to find somebody that 
talked about it, but a lot of people doesn't don't really focus on this type of fishing. Creek fishing, small, like I'm talking small creeks for anything that bites can be a blast. I do it all the time. And having the right setup and approaching the right way makes it way more fun. Thanks for watching.